Okay, boys and girls, today our scholastic news is meet Christian Robinson. He is an illustrator. He made the pictures for this book. How did he do it? He's also an author. He writes the words in books too. Telling stories with pictures. Christian Robinson loved making pictures. One day, he painted a picture of himself and his grandma. He put it on his website. He didn't think anyone would look at it, but someone did. A man saw it. He worked for a book company. He loved the picture. The man asked Christian if he would like to illustrate a new book. Christian was excited. He loved to tell stories with pictures. He said he would do it. From words to pictures. An author wrote the words for the new book. He loved Christian's painting too. So he wrote his story about it. The story is about a boy named CJ and his grandma. They took a long bus ride and CJ asked questions about all the things they saw. Christian read the words and thought a lot about the story. Now it was his job to tell the story with his pictures. First, he used his imagination. He asked himself, what is CJ like? What clothes does he wear? Where does he live? Christian wanted his pictures to answer these questions for the readers. Next, he drew his ideas. He made rough drawings on little sticky notes. He planned out what would go on each page. He didn't get every drawing right on the first try, but he didn't get upset. It's okay to make mistakes, he says. Then he made bigger pictures. He added color to them. He used paint and shapes. He cut out of, the, of colorful paper. That type of art is called collage. Christian worked on his collages for months. Finally, he was done. He had told the story with his pictures. The words and pictures came together to make a beautiful book called Last Stop on Market Street. It won a Caldecott honor. That's a really big award for picture book art. Love and Joy. Christian has illustrated 16 books now. He's also written words for a book. He loves making books for kids. He says if it brings you joy or if you like doing it, keep doing it. How Christian does it. First, he uses his imagination. He thinks about the story he wants to tell. Next, he makes rough drawings called sketches. He draws them on sticky notes. Then he makes bigger pictures. He adds color and makes collages. Inside Christian Studio. Read about where Christian works. Find and click on the items. Christian uses many art supplies. Can you find his lucky pencil, scissors, and paper fish? He takes breaks for snacks. Can you find his apple core and tea mug? He doesn't work alone. His dog Baldwin is with him, and so are some other animals. Can you find Baldwin's green turtle toy, the neighbor's cat, and Christian's spider friend? Thank you, Christian, for making this art just for Scholastic News readers.